Walker, with time, takes the shot. Cam Phillips, caught. Touchdown, Renegades. What a beautiful deep ball. Cam Phillips is a guy they've been raving about in their camps, that he is their best receiver, and they've got a guy named Sammy Coates on this roster. Great play caller, defensively or offensively, don't get bored. Here's Walker bringing it down. And still keeping his eyes downfield. Sammy Coates makes it pay off. First catch of the game for the former third-round pick of the Pittsburgh Steelers. How about that play? That was gorgeous. It looked like P.J. Walker had a bunch of room to run, but he finds his wide receiver. Gets that winds up being a 24-yard penalty. Walker under pressure. Dumps it off. Butler out of the backfield. Down the sideline, into the end zone. Touchdown, Roughnecks. A little Houston hop. Touchdown. And as Walker breaks out of the pocket, watch as he gets out to the left. He's got a scoop under the rush, and then right here he gets out to the left. He locates his wide receiver because Roman Tatum had to make a choice. Do I need to come up for the mobile quarterback and leave my receiver or stay deep? He decided he was going to come try to defend P.J. Walker, and Walker astutely delivers it over the top to Sam Mobley. Under pressure, escapes. Clock at one. They get it off. Over the middle. Nick Holly goes up. Pulls it in. First and goal. Walker. Looking that way open is Khalil Lewis. And it's the fourth touchdown pass of the game for P.J. Walker. L.A. LA knows it. Look right here, you got the safety. He's trying to he's trying to inch out right now. Walker on the keeper gets it. And their coordinator. And he needs his defense to get a stop here. Third and short. Walker zips that one and it's caught by Khalil Lewis. First and goal for Houston. The rest of this game and see if they identify and attack it. What a catch by Holly. Walker pumps. Throws got a man. Whoa! But it's Lewis makes the catch inside the 20. All right, that was Walker by in time with the pump fake. Lewis got open, and it's a 33 yard gain. Walker pumps again, still looking, dancing, firing. It's caught for the touchdown. A bullet to Cam Phillips for six. His movement in the pocket, KB, that, that, that's his game. I know we keep saying it, but his ability to keep plays alive, just move his feet, move around guys, it gives his receivers time to adjust routes, make a break, and what an unbelievable kind of sidearm action. Unbelievable play. Touchdown. Just his ability to move around in the pocket. It gives, it gives Phillips, that wasn't even Phillips' original um, route, and watch his, look at this. Right under the defensive lineman. Oh. Walker looking for two. No. Well, that's a signal that he crossed. Let's see if he Let's take, yeah. had it. Great catch. Ball away and low. That's sometimes the hardest catch. It's his knee down. It's hard to see. No. I, I think, think that's he's a good in. call. A bunch of linemen. 590 is the protection. Texas would be the route concept. And he's hit. Walker gets away. Looking. Can't find anybody. Now he's going to run it. Walker electrifying. He's got a first down. Oh! What else can you say about this kid? 
you can make an argument he's been the best kid and he's been the best player in the entire league through two weeks of the XFL season. He can do it through the air, he can do it on the ground. He's the MVP if the season ends after two weeks. He's, he's incredible. Him and probably Cardell Jones, right? Cardell Jones has kind of gotten off to a great start out in D.C., but this kid is incredible. You see this big gap here in the middle of the field in the, in the end zone. Walker oh. sees it. Floating in. Is he in? Touchdown. Phillips again. He just breaks contain. You, you know, it's hard to know what the route really was because the second he hit his back step, he flushed out of the pocket to the right. And the third return, setting up his team on a third and goal. Walker looking to throw, does so, caught, touchdown, Phillips number three. That's an awesome play, KB. That's a really unique version of an RPO. But like you said, Cam Phillips is here, fakes the stock block, and he throws the ball across. That Andre Williams in the game, the bigger running back. Walker going to keep it as you called it, Greg. He's in for the extra points. Walker on the keeper. Look at this. Walker. Walker to get it out to the 44. Walker throwing for the Still an opportunity for P.J. Walker and company. Trailing by a field goal deep in their own territory. Here's Walker, steps up and throws, ball was tipped, and it's caught. Racing down the sideline is who else but Cam Phillips for the touchdown. How about 84 yards to the house? Already the league leader in touchdown catches. That's his fifth of this young season. Just a beautiful route. Watch the eyes of the defender. I mean, his eyes are in the backfield. You watch him, and he is Rain. up, thinking that Rain. Walker's about to run. Instead, no, he doesn't. Will Stutter go over the top? Hey, you find what's been the most productive wide receiver in the XFL through the first couple weeks. Oh, 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 oh. He kicked from a week ago. Going for three. Back in the end zone. It's caught. Sam Mobley doing the toe tap in the back of the end it's a three-point play and gives the Roughnecks a 9-3 lead. Unbelievable throw. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. Walker working his eyes to the right, but he sees the safety in the back. There's your Z. Expect under. Bumble the snap. Walker picks it up. Now try to turn something out of nothing and into the end zone. Down. Wow. I mean, broken play. Try to get a quick snap. Able to pick it up. Create something like you said, Steve, out of nothing. Heads up play there by Walker. Off of what you thought might be a disaster at the start of that snap. Side. Five receivers. It's Tim Mobley. Mobley. Inside the 20 yard line. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. Second and 14. Pressure again. Walker gets it away. It's Cam Phillips making people miss into the end zone for yet another touchdown. Walker to Phillips. Score again for the Roughnecks. 24 yards on the play. Man, just a great route. One-on-one, -on -one, all-out pressure. And he finds himself in an isolated situation working against the safety, Micah Hanneman. And that's just pitch and catch. You see Walker just drift ever so slightly away from the pressure that was coming off the right-hand side by just a little bit more time. You know what's coming at home. Or attempting anyway. Here's Walker going to take off. All sorts of green and cuts it up. And only because he stumbles. Tackled by the turf monster. Out to the 34 yard line. And great job. Didn't like anything downfield. The pass rush gets too aggressive. Next thing you know, he's out in open space. 
We thought to give you guys some more time to stop the game. You actually never stopped it, right? No, we did not stop it. It was the correct call on the field. Situation. Sounds like uh, Greg and Tom disagree with that. Here's Mobley. That man, you're dead to me. Took a job he didn't want him to take. They patch things up. Well, they've never talked about that Black Rose bit. Here's Walker to the scene. The Cam Phillips touchdown. Roughneck back on top. The fifth lead change of the game. And the third touchdown catch again for Cam Phillips. He's a machine. Man, such a great job by Walker, though. Look at him drift away from the pressure. You see the right side? There's an unblocked rusher coming off the right. He knows he's unblocked, so... Going from the five. For two points. Bro is caught. Nick Holly, and he ducked down and let the defenders go flying by him. And that's the two-point conversion. And so Houston enjoys a seven-point lead with 10-24 to play. Cam Phillips was already the XFL star of the week. He's looking a repeat. And they had a fumbled snap on the field goal attempt. Here's Houston leading by seven and with the ball. P.J. Walker completes the Cam Phillips. Two bugaboos. some other guys to step up. Third down, going deep down the field. Caught as he inbounds. I think there's a conversation here. And yes, it looks like he's inbounds for the completion. It was coach. Moving on the field. It was a catch inbounds for a first down. P.J. Walker is only one of his first six. Pressure coming. Throws over Holly back shoulder. What a grab. He's inside the 30. A beauty to Nick Holly turned around to make the catch. He's got 23 yards. This is one of those kids you just can't help but cheer for. His story coming out of Kent State. Kind of a running back, wide receiver, kind of jack of all trades. On first and goal, Walker throws. It is caught for the touchdown. Nick. This guy is dangerous. He's in this three-man bunch here. He just crosses face. I mean, he doesn't do anything spectacular there. He really just crosses Don Donatello Brown's face. This offense. Roughnecks going for three here. Walker going to take off. Is he going to get there? Yes, he is. What a move for three points for the Roughnecks. Wow. There was any way he was getting there when he initially took off. If you're Chris Woods, this Renegades defensive coordinator, I'm not sure what else you can do. You got a great coverage on. Everybody's covered. You just don't account for the best athlete on the field being the quarterback. I mean, they got everyone. You see it here from his vantage point. They kind of just drop out. They only rush three. They got eight guys in coverage. And he's got it. I mean, he's just the best athlete on the field. You see T. Gray Scales has a chance to tackle him, but he really has no chance. Three man rush. Walker over the middle. He's got a completion. Actually have to start working back to the quarterback at such a severe angle so he can't drive the route. Walker running people over. P.J. Walker put the shoulder pads down and took a right to Donatello Brown. And look at his O-lineman. They love it. Let's hear it. They love it. <laughs> Awesome. Third down and two. Walker, pressure, standing in and floats one. Oh, what a pass to Holly. Beautiful touch over Deron Smith's outstretched hand, and he delivers for 22 yards. That is so good. You see Holly here a little off the right of your screen. He just runs a corner out, and Smith tries to undercut it. What a pass. P.J. Walker just puts just enough air on it. I mean, Smith has to say, what else can I do to cover that? Blitz coming on third and one. Walker going for it all. And he gets it all. Touchdown, Blake Jackson. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, hey, all day, baby. Hey, we don't mess with Dallas, dog. Hey, all day. 
But you heard him say we don't miss that one. Well, they sure, <laughs> they sure didn't. That was on time. Great job by Walker buying time. You see here, 17 Blake Jackson. He just runs a corner out. He's just going to take a high angle corner out. He's got great leverage on the defender. P.J. Walker puts the ball out there enough that the safety just doesn't have enough time. To oh! Final 29 seconds of the third quarter. Walker will pull it and throw it, and holding on is Holly. Here's the blitz. It's picked up nicely, and they find a soft spot in the defense, and Sam Mobley has the catch for the... Second and seven. Throwing. Little back shoulder deal to Sam Mobley. Gonna call it a catch. Look at the middle of the two. <laughs> really? All over it. Walker throwing. Got a man on the flat, Khalil Lewis has some running and still on his feet. And he's out beyond the 40, longest offensive play to gain a 20. Third and one from midfield. Nice seam for Nick Holly. He's gonna keep running. Running away from people. Nick Holly, middle of the field, end zone, touchdown. 50 yards for the score. No concern whatsoever for Houston right back in the game. You're going to see two defenders actually bust. You're going to see two guys running with the out route right here, which allows Hawley to work on an inbreaker. And he's wide open. Look at those two defenders running with the flat. Hawley's wide open. And the guy that's done it all throughout the game. <laughs> Absolutely. Tim Basil like a different team the last couple of weeks. Deep shot. Sam Mobley on the receiving end. And P.J. Walker made it great. With that football. Huge high arc for 41 yards. Man, a great job by PJ Walker, but a better job by Mobley on these vertical routes. Oftentimes you'll see these wide receivers get too close to the sideline. Right there, Mobley. It's exactly what he executed there by throwing it nice. Both teams have their full complement of timeouts. Blake Jackson makes the grab. Inside the five and down to the two. On the five. One time down. Zipped in there. Back of the end zone. Nick Holly on the receiving end of that two-point conversion. Seattle is up by nine. Here's Walker. Deep shot. Has Cam Phillips. It's a beauty of a ball and a big catch. We'll see where they mark him out of bounds. At the 10-yard line. It's a 48-yard pass play. Just like that. The Roughnecks are back in business. Beautiful throw, too. Absolutely beautiful. P.J. Walker, he recognizes, looks at that safety depart, turning his back to Cam Phillips. Cam Phillips wins on the go route and leaves him plenty of space to throw. Put your team in a hole, make a play to get him right back into it. On the ground, here's Butler. Wow, all sorts of time. He does a pirouette into the end zone. Touchdown and right into the crowd. The man can read the sign. We on kickoff. I got a D-lineman running down on kickoff, making a play behind the 20. That excite me. That get me going. Guys. Underneath if he's got him. Big shot in the back. Nick gets to snap it here. Get it away. What's coming? Picked up. It is caught. Touchdown. Cam Phillips. And for the first time all afternoon, with 9.03 to go in the fourth quarter, Second and two, so he has to take a shot here. Indeed he does. Walker wants his man, Sam Mobley. And he's got him. The catch at the 33 of Seattle. Gain of 25. Walker melting that play clock all the way down. Watch the throw for it. Steps up and fires. It's Phillips. Down by the goal line and in. Touchdown, Roughnecks. Second of the day, ninth of the season for Cam Phillips.